The mobility of people within the European Union has increased massively in recent years. Consequently, it has become essential to ensure efficient cross-border healthcare for all citizens. The European Health Data Space will play a major role by facilitating the exchange of health information across borders in a secure and integrated way. Two cross-border infrastructures are at the heart of the European Health Data Space, My Health at EU and Health Data at EU. In Brussels, we met with an e-health expert in order to understand their impact for health systems and patients. My Health at EU enables health professionals to access to essential information. For example, pharmacists will need to access prescriptions issued in another country. Doctors in a hospital will need to have access to essential information like allergies, vaccination records, past illness or current medication. Medical records are translated into the healthcare professional's language. This allows any European citizen travelling through the European Union to receive care as if it were in their own country. Under My Health at EU, the access to health data is possible through the National Contact Points, NCP, which will be gradually set up in all member states and the European coordination services that harmonise data exchange between nations. Health data at EU facilitates access to electronic health information for secondary use, such as research, innovation or policy making. This offers the opportunity to take advantage of a huge catalogue of health data. Researchers, institutions or companies will need to require a permit from a health data access body to be set up in all member states. There is no centralised European database with all data from patients. Data stays where it was collected and is accessed when it's needed. My Health at EU services such as e-prescriptions and patient summary are already available in 10 European countries. In the coming years, both services will be gradually implemented across the European Union. A pilot version of health data at EU is going to be set up over the next two years to test on a small scale the challenges surrounding access to health data. The Paris-based Health Data Hub leads the consortium that will operate the pilot project. This French public agency specializes in health data management. No employee of the Health Data Hub has access to data that's directly identifiable. That's a rule of the hub. The data is encrypted. The encryption keys and the whole encryption system is something that's entirely owned by the hub. We have an extremely high level of security that's essential for data like this. Finland is another member of that consortium. FinData brings a deep experience about guidance and protection on the secondary use of health data in the context of public interest projects. We never give out uh, so-called direct identifiers, so uh, name, uh, social security number, variables that directly identify people. The data is always uh, pseudonymized, what means uh, removing the identificating information, or it can be even anonymized, which means that it's in a form that person can't be identified. In such an outstanding technological ecosystem, security and data protection will play a crucial role in gaining the trust of all citizens. <laughs>